mocha, mocha friends, mocha. Hey. <laughs> hey, mocha friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, you're here on this video today. Make sure you what? Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're not missing out on any of my videos. Okay, guys, so for today's video, I'll be testing out the Curl Smith Bonding Curl Rehab Slab. And this is my first time testing out this product. I have seen so many trends on this product previously before, like last year when it was popular. And I was just like, okay, kind of skeptical. I'm not really one of those natural girls that do like to just hop on trends because everyone is trying them out. I like to do my research first, watch a lot of videos, and just see other natural girls' results and the benefits that they're gaining from this product. Even though a product is popular, doesn't mean that it's great and beneficial for your hair. So I'm like, wait, hold on, let me do my research first. And I've done my research I seen the results of this product and I'm like, okay, wait, let me try this. And it's really great for um, treating colored hair. I don't have colored hair, but damaged hair. And it's really great for those as myself who has straightened their hair and they just want to make sure they can revive their curls back. And the reason why I say that, because <laughs> I've had my hair straightened in December, blow dried for braids in December when I went on vacation. I also had it straightened again in February for my birthday. And then I was also applying more heat to it. So you don't want to really see what's underneath. <laughs> so... I've also heard that this product is similar to Olaplex. Olaplex is also similar to treating the bonds in your hair, but I've heard that it's helpful for one bond and this is helpful for the three bonds in your hair. So I'm like, okay, competition much. <laughs> so I've heard great results with this product. I've tried the Olaplex and I did like that as well. So I am definitely wanting to try this out. It has the ingredients of chia seeds, um, the prickly pear pulp, pumpkin seed oil. So it's a lot of superfoods that are beneficial for your hair to help treat the damages in your hair or anything that you need to restore your hair and strengthen your hair. So this is really good. So if you have low porosity hair as myself, then you will most likely want to use this every month. So four to five wash days, medium porosity hair. You can probably use this like two to three weeks. And then for high porosity hair, most likely every week. So I am about to get started with this and I'm so excited to try this out. And like I said, you are my people. You are my people. So I will show you how this works on my hair. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, moment of truth. Don't judge. Don't judge. Okay, it was raining. Disclaimer, it was raining. It was straight. And you know how our naturals, it just... <laughs> oh, dang. It's stuck. Okay, yes. Okay, you see this. Ooh. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> definitely needs some treatment, some something. And for $29, it better do something. My curls better be flying, freaking doing, waving on its own, okay? <laughs> As you guys can see, I have my hair already into sections and about to get started. So, of course, you have to start with wet hair when you apply this product. So, I'm just going to take this and apply this to my hair. And I'm kind of scared because, like I said, I really haven't seen my hair curly in some months now, since December. So, kind of skeptical, a little scared, but we'll see. Don't do that, guys. Don't be like me. Okay. I'm kind of scared because my hair is wet and... I don't see nothing. Also too, I want to point out how big this bottle is compared to the Olaplex bottle. I wish I had it, but I don't have it. I do have a video on that and it's a little bit smaller in ounces. So I just feel like since this is $29, I'm glad that the bottle is bigger. <laughs> so let's see. This is a consistency of this. You know, as natural as like a generous amount. So I'm just going to start with the ends first because they need all the love you can get. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm a little scared because, like I said, I've been straightening it a little bit too much. I see it kind of doing a little something. Okay. 
Okay. Smells really good too, y'all. All that combination of the foods and the fruit. Yes, it's super soft on my hair too. Just what the doctor ordered. I mean, for $29, y'all, it, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, look at them curls. I'm in sleep. I'm in sleep on Curl Smith. Okay, it's time to. <laughs> I'm just going to twist this up because the product will really soak into my hair, which I really need. So, twisting it up like so. that difference y'all look at that <laughs> all of this frizziness and this in like two or five seconds took away all of that frizz i know it's wet of course but look at that juicy curls i was actually really scared i'm not gonna lie i know like i don't straighten my hair that much but because of the amount of time i've had had my hair straightened I was a little skeptical, so, okay, you know, loving it already. <laughs> Okay guys, so I just finished applying all of that rehab slab in my hair. And if you have low porosity hair as myself, the direction says to leave it in for 15 minutes. And for medium porosity hair, you're doing 20 minutes. And for high porosity hair, you're doing 30. However, since I've had my hair straightened for so long, I want to do the 30 minute mark to an hour. And I might do a little bit less than that because I'm noticing, well, I'm starting to feel a little itchiness right up in here. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be tingling or working or doing something, but I'm like, okay, what's going on here? It feels like a perm and it was a little burning sensation a little bit. So that's why I'm like, okay, wait, hold up. <laughs> My cousin said it's supposed to be working that way and tingling your scalp. I don't know, but might do 20 minutes or 25 minutes. So I'll be back. So an hour has passed now since I've applied the rehab slab to my hair and I just wanted it to stay in my hair a little bit longer than the 30 minute mark just so that it can really penetrate through my strands and give me the results that I'm looking for. Even though I know that you have to use this product often to see more results, but I did want it to stay a little bit longer just because I had my hair straightened for a little bit. Oh, sometimes. So as you can see here, I'm just washing out everything and my hair feels super soft. I'm loving it so far. So I'm going to follow up by using the same Lime Curl Smith shampoo. It's supposed to be a gentle shampoo for damaged hair. It's supposed to break down dirt and build up product. And I do like how it says gentle. A lot of products say gentle or sulfate free and then it still leaves my hair feeling dry like it's stripped all of my oils out of my hair so that's why i really hate shampoos but so far i am using this shampoo and my hair feels super soft usually my hair can already tell if a shampoo is going to just strip clean everything that was in my hair i do like a cleansing on my scalp to take out that build up product however since my hair was just straightened and didn't have products in there 
I did not need anything that was going to strip my, out my oil. So this was really good and it smells really good too. So on the back of the shampoo bottle, it says how to feed your hair. And if your hair is feeling weak or damaged, to follow up with the Curlsmith Multitasking Conditioner. And this multitasking conditioner has three in one for damaged hair. It has a leave-in, a rinse out, and also a deep conditioner. So with the um, product here, I'm just going to leave it in for as a conditioner and leave it in for probably about one or two minutes, which it says. So if you do wanna leave it as a deep conditioner, you can follow up by leaving it in for 15 minutes too. So now I'm rinsing out the multitasking conditioner. And as you can see my face, my face is like this because the conditioner had my hair feeling super soft. Even the shampoo had my hair feeling soft. There was no feeling of dryness or brittleness. So. I really love this line. I've heard so many great reviews and I'm not just saying that I purchased everything with my own money. <laughs> everything came out to be $82. So this is my honest review, not sponsored. This is a really good line and I would definitely be using their lines again. So for my leave-in conditioner, I am going to be using the product line as I am, Long and Lux, Pomegranate and Passion Fruit Go Yogurt. This is my holy grail. I love this leave-in conditioner. So what I'm doing is applying this leave-in conditioner right after I my wash routine. I've seen a lot of natural girls do this and I'm like, okay, I want to try it. And actually, I think this is a really good idea. You just wash your hair. Your hair is fully drenched with water. Water, and you can just go ahead and apply the leave-in conditioner and you can just sit in your hair and I feel like that really penetrates. Usually I will have my hair a little dry and then apply the leave-in conditioner and then I notice I have to apply more water afterwards. So I think this is a really good idea and I'm gonna start using this in my routine going forward. 